Hi Aries, welcome to your singles reading for December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So I hope everybody's doing well. So this is intended for singles. So you have to be single in some way. If you're in a committed relationship or exclusively dating, then this probably isn't for you. But if you're just dating someone, if you're not really committed to anyone and you're, you are single in some way, then this probably is for you. So we may or may not get your current energy if you do know someone or dating someone or we may so it could be somebody new or somebody you already know so we'll see what we get here so let's see what we have for Aries so please only take what resonates uh, throw away what doesn't as I always say I could pick up past present future energy all right so let's see what's going on with Aries hope you're all all doing well this is intended for whenever you see this until whenever I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless even though they're dated so let's see what's going on with Aries singles and love. Let's get a couple of signs here. So let's see. I know we're coming into Thanksgiving. This will be up um, before Thanksgiving, even though it's dated December. So happy Thanksgiving. All right. So Aries. Aries. Let's get a couple signs for Aries. Aries. Okay. There's one and two. Let's see what we have. We have... Aquarius and we have Scorpio so you have air and water and you are fire so you could meet somebody that um, these could be two di two different totally people or they could be one or the other or they could have some uh, both of these signs in their chart so it could be anybody here so let's see let's see who is this person coming into Aries spirit, please? We're going to look at who they are, what is their energy like. We're going to look at when, time frame, um, how and where you may uh, meet up with this person, what your advice is, what kind of connection it will be. We'll clarify, we'll pull tarot on it also. So let's see, Aries. Who is this person coming into Aries? Aries singles. What is the energy like of this person coming into Aries? Thank you so much. Wow. So we have somebody here that you may be coming into you that is not afraid to take action, who is not afraid to set out in new adventures, who has a lot of ideas. They're very passionate and fiery. Um, they're fearless. Uh, they go after what they want. They go after their dreams. They may be very lucky in uh, their career, just in life in general. Wow, so that's a very strong energy there. So let's see. It could be somebody who has just embarked on a new venture too, like open their own business um, or something like that. All right, so let's see when, like a time frame, like what time of year. So we have the Empress energy here. So that is, um, I believe, that is Libra and Taurus. So it could be during, um, let's see, Taurus season. Oh, is the end of April into May. And Libra is the end of September into October. So that's, so that could be, um, spring into the end of summer like fall beginning of fall I want to say towards the end we'll say the end of spring to the beginning of fall so that's a big time span so that could be in those months somewhere in those months <laughs> next year during that time frame or it could be just either dur during um, Libra season or Taurus season so not necessarily those signs because we do have Aquarius or Scorpio, Scorpio there. So this is the time frame. So I would say either um, April into May or September and October. Or it could definitely be during that total time span also. All right. Phew. So. All right. So let's see. This I'm getting to could be definitely somebody, male or female, who probably, because the Empress is somebody who gives birth to new things, 
who it could be a boss and owner. So this could be somebody who just opened up their own business, who just um, is their own entrepreneur, had their own creative idea. They're very fiery, passionate. They go after what they want. They're not afraid to set out on something new. Wow. So, all right. So let's, let's see uh, where I may meet this person. So... This is the king of winter energy. So you may be, so maybe <laughs> this is getting advice from someone professional and objective speaking, pub, public speaking and uh, that kind of energy. So they could be, maybe there's someone who offers professional help. Maybe they're a counselor, a therapist. Maybe they just open their own office or their own, ser just open their services to the public or something like that. And maybe you, you know, well, I don't know, maybe maybe you're taking somebody there. Uh, maybe you're offering to go with somebody, you know, I'll go drop you off. You know, maybe they don't want to go alone because I know like patients can't date like their um, therapist or anything like that. But maybe you do go go book an appoint appointment to go see them. Um, or it could be somebody that is working in their office um, or something like that. But I feel like here, because it says advice from someone professional and it doesn't have to I mean they could be um, they could be a lawyer they could be a financial advisor or something like that not necessarily um, therapeutic or anything like that so maybe somebody you seek out for advice and that's how you meet this person I feel like it's a newly uh, newly thing for them like they just open their own business services whatever here so let's see how the emperor wow so we have the emperor and the empress maybe maybe you're going into partnership with somebody it could be same sex opposite sex doesn't matter here we have the empress and the emperor this is a matching couple very you know a passionate new beginning here so i mean i mean this is their energy who's coming towards you but maybe you could be going into business with somebody maybe for some of you and you know you know this person but maybe it's never been romantic but i think it's going to be romantic wow all right this is you you know taking charge and like you know what i need some advice so that's you taking the lead taking charge going and getting advice that you know you need and um going to see somebody professional here and I feel like, boom, that's how this connection starts. And it's like an instant attraction between the two of you. But matching couple here, we have divine feminine and divine masculine energy here. That's just energy. So you could be opposite sex, same sex, doesn't matter here. Wow. Wowzers. Okay, so let's, um, let's move these over here for you, Aries. So let's look at... What kind of um, what kind of connection this will be? What kind of connection will this be? And maybe you know you're also someone that wants to open up your own business. You want to be your own entrepreneur, and maybe you need advice on on, on how to you know take the first steps. And maybe you seek out somebody who offers offers professional help. Um, in entrepreneurship or something like that and life skills or it could be a life coach or something like that and it's like an instant instant connection here wow all right so let's see let's see what kind of connection will this be for you Aries friendship so it may start out as friendship make a date for play day with one or more friends so it could be you know I, I just said it could be somebody you already know like a friend but I think it will develop into something more over time here. If this is someone you're going into business with, or if you do go see somebody to seek out advice, help, or something, it'll turn into friendship. But I definitely feel like there's will be attraction along the way, and it will turn into something more here. And I feel like be very upfront and honest with one another also. You know, if one is saying, you know, I think I'm developing feelings here, like brain new feelings here, going like from friendship to something more wow okay so let's see 
Let's see your advice. What is Aries advice, Spirit, please? What is Aries advice? What is Aries advice? Let's get one good shuffle here. They're sticking. Thank you. What's Aries advice? This connection. This connection. Aries advice. This connection. Ask with sincerity. Wow. So <laughs> So your advice is to be sincere, to be open, honest with this person. If you know you feel like you're starting to get more than just friendship feelings here, I feel like for some of you, this is someone you already know because we do have friendship here. And being very sincere, open, and honest, and saying, you know, I think um, developing feelings for you. Do you feel the same way? I think very sincere energy here. To be very sincere and open and upfront with one another, and it's going to lead. It's a very fiery, passionate new beginning. And we have a matching couple here. So this is soulmate energy here. So it's either you know this person or it will start out as a friendship and it's going to turn into something more here. Because we do have a matching couple with divine feminine and divine masculine energy here. So, wow. All right. So let's see. Let's get some tarot. So I do ask Aries. If you're new and you like my style, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's read the comments. I offer four readings a month, and they're all different. So you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please do subscribe. And if you do, thank you so much. And uh, check the description box below um, for all information you need, personal readings, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there. If you do subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on all your readings. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Whichever way you support it, it's truly, truly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. All right, let's get some tarot here. Are you eerie? So what's going on with eerie singles? Eerie singles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get one more. And then we'll do the bottom of, well, let's do the bottom of the deck, the hermit energy here. So, so this is, you know, going within, doing inner journey work, soul searching work. So you may be, you know, spending time here trying to figure out if some of you are trying to uh, become an entrepreneur or take control in some sort of way. You're trying to do it on your own here with the hermit energy, you know, and this is, you know, finding the light and being like, you know what, maybe I need some help. And I feel like that's what some of you will do. You're like, I really need help here uh, moving forward. And that's how you stumble upon your soulmate here. So let's see. Yeah, there's communication, passionate communication over the airwaves, person, you know, face to face, uh, email, texting here, very fiery, passionate action, travel, communication. So yeah, taking root here, knowing, you know, I can't do it alone. So this is, yeah, because you have now, now the Ace of Pentacles. So some of you are starting out in a new venture here, a brand new venture, but you're a little confused on how to move it forward, how to move it forward in a stable new beginning and knowing I can't do it on my own. So reaching out here, communication. King of Spirals energy. So this could be your energy. Um, this is fire energy, but, uh, yeah, being a go-getter, being, um, you know, that entrepreneur, creative ideas, going after what you want, very fiery, passionate energy, being that emperor, emperor-like energy. And the emperor does represent Aries here. So, wow. Okay. Now we have the king of scrolls. So now we have the king of scrolls coming in twice, the king of winter. So now we have two kings here. I mean, it can be two males, two females. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, but we have repeating cards here. So again, I feel like reaching out to somebody who is very smart, who can help you, who guide you, who can give you advice to go in the right direction. I feel like it goes this way. This is you reaching out to somebody who knows all the secrets, has all the tools to help and guide you in the right direction. Yeah, because again, with the four scrolls energy, um, you know, this is healing, contemplating, thinking, like really like thinking and thinking and thinking, how do I make this work? How do I go about this? Really 
you know, again, like with the hermit, like on your own, like really trying and then like being like so worn out and tired. Like, I just can't do it on my own. I'm confused. I'm just worn out. Nine of spirals energy here. So yeah, fighting and fighting and uh, trying to perse persevere on, trying to make this happen and really getting uh, like beat up and wounded and like, just like, I'm just worn out. I'm just worn out. That's nine of spirals. It's like you keep going on, but you're worn out and tired. Resting. Two of stones here. So yeah, balancing, trying to balance things out, trying to juggle all this around, really trying to make decisions here and just everything up in the air, really being up in the air. But now... Again, this is soulmate twin flame energy. So now happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, happy home and family. Everything positive with the sun. So by reaching out to this person, and it could start out as just friendship, but they're going to lead you to happiness, joy, success, happy home and family, enlightenment, everything positive with the sun. Positive, positive, happy outcome here. Definitely soulmate energy with the sun and this could you be you asking with sincerity help help <laughs> and this very smart smart person here that knows how to lead you in the right direction will get you there to success with the sun energy and with the sun shining down and that enlightenment on the connection i think it's going to grow and prosper that's also about growth and expansion i think it's going to start out as friends and it's going to grow into that ace of spring very fiery passionate energy don't have any cups here but um but you know it does have the potential to grow into something more here uh between the two of you wow okay aries uh <laughs> so good luck to you and i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light.